Hey, welcome back. Sit in the chair in front of you. You can hang the outer in the coat rack. It's really cold these days, isn't it? Would you like a cup of warm tea? Okay, then please wait here. It's Korean traditional tea. This tea has a fragrant and a little bit of taste. Try on. Is it to your taste? Oh, really? Thank you for saying so. And do you remember when you said you wanted to experience Korean traditional culture? First of all, thank you for your interesting about my hometown, Korea. To be honest, I was slightly surprised by what you said. Until three years ago, there was no one who wanted to know about Korea. I think uh, this phenomenon occurred because BTS and Squid Game became famous overseas. So, to repay your interest, I prepared three things that you may be interested in. First is uh, getting a traditional Korean makeup. Yeah. Um, these are the traditional Korean cosmetics. The number of cosmetics is small, right? In the old days, Korean women paid more attention to decorating luxuriantly their hair using wigs than Second, wearing a hanbok. Hanbok is a Korean traditional outfit. What I'm wearing is a hanbok too. I prepared your hanbok in this box. Feels like this when you wear it. It looks more and more done and fancy than what I'm wearing, doesn't it? Let's try on this after the makeup. Okay. And last third is getting a hair styling which goes well with handbook. These are hair accessories you will wear. Please choose one you like later. Then, shall we start the makeup?
Let me fix your side here with hairpins. When we apply our toner in the first step of makeup, in the old days, Korean women had used something like toner. That is, Miyansu. Miyansu. Hmm. Our ancestors made and used Miyansu in various ingredients. Among them, cucumber Miyansu was widely used because it's good for skin whitening and moisturizing. <laughs> this is a miyansu made by cucumber. You can make it by cutting the peeled cucumber into small pieces Boiling them in a pot and filtering them out. I'm going to soak a pure cotton pad with miyansu and put it on your skin. I will leave it on your skin for about 3 minutes. While you wait, I will find you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. The wind is blowing from this side. It's 
is flowing from this side the wind is flowing from this side from the other side Are you feeling any better? Good. I will take off the pants now. Tap the tunnel left on your skin to absorb it. Your skin is more moisturized than before. Next, I'm going to use a Myonyak that act like a cream. That act like a cream. Myonyak is made by Animal and Festival Oil. I made it from whole oil and beeswax. It was a little sticky, so I mixed a small amount of moisturizing cream in here. Drops into the skin wear by mixing the moisturizing cream. Then let me apply it on your face.
generally apply sunscreen and foundation after applying cream, right? But in the old days, Korean women dispensed with these steps and applied the powder. I don't think it's a good way to apply powder on the top of the skin applied cream because the skin can get really dry. Your skin is precious. So, I'm going to apply a very thin foundation cushion. Is it okay? It's really nice. Powder time. In the old Korea, uh, women used backbone as a powder. Mm. Backbone is made by grinding rice and pearls. Mm. The powder is really fine, isn't it? And this, which looks like a powder puff, is called buncha. Evenly coat punch up with backbone and put it on your face. Then let's put it on now. Tap it on your forehead. This chick and on the other side too.
It looks like a soft and smooth skin The next step is to draw eyebrows In the old Korea, women drew eyebrows by mixing ground charcoal with oil uh, what I prepared is bamboo charcoal powder and camellia oil. Mm. Mm -hmm. Taking some amount of charcoal in an empty plate. Putting a little camellia oil in here Dipping it on brush pencil. So here we go. And from your right eyebrow. Is there something you want to say to me? Hmm. Oh, you're worried because your eyebrows and hair color are different? Don't worry about that. I've prepared dark brown wig for you. Let's try it on when you get a hairstyle. Okay? Now, shall we make your lips? Look like a cherry's. <laughs> hmm. I will grind the dried rose petals finely. Mm -hmm. Mix it with camellia oil and apply it on your lips. A 
originally I have to use safflower that grows but it is difficult to get red pigments from safflower so I replaced it with roses mm -hmm. Isn't the color pretty? Now let's put it on your lips. Try to say A. Mm -hmm. Thanks. From your upper lips. And your lower lip too. You're so pretty. Lastly, I'm going to apply this powder to your cheeks. If you mix the rose petal powder with rice powder, you can make this soft pink powder. Um, this is called Yantop. Yantop. Uh, you can use it as a blush or puff. Evenly coat Yantop with the pink powder. Um, apply it on your right side. And your left side too. If I take out the hairpins, <gasps> the truth. 
traditional Korean makeup is done. Oh, I feel mysterious mood from you. You're really attractive. Let's try your handbook now. Please wait for a minute. This is your handbook. This handbook looks like a wrap dress. You can wrap it around your body with straps. Mm -hmm. uh, if you layer up a long pretty skirt on top of this, you can style it beautifully. It looks more more done than what I'm wearing, right? Because what I'm wearing is a traditional style and this is a contemporary style worn by young people. Yeah. This style of handbook is called Chalik dress. Chalik dress. Mm. Many people like this dress because it has a lot of wrinkles at the waist and is comfortably when active. I prepared it because I thought it would go well with you. So, I hope you will like it. Then, let's try it on. Could you take off your top except for sleeveless? Thanks. Does it fit you wear? That's a relief. Moving on. You have to try the skirt. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good to use complementary colors when styling handbook. For example, it's pretty to wear the pretty skirt of page 8 color on pink chalic dress. This is a dorike, an accessory of a handbook. Dorike, dorike. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang the dorike on the strap of skirt and bind the skirt up with the strap
adventure. It is your first time wearing this. You don't feel awkward. Hmm. Oh, you really like it? Thank you for thinking so. Next step is uh, hair styling. First of all, let me comb your hair neatly. Um, did you remember that I prepared the dark brown wig for you? Hmm? This is it. <laughs> Look, the wig is so smooth. Bring your hair back. Okay. And building up your hair in a ponytail.
are we using a wig cap to fix the wig on your head? Isn't your head too tight? Isn't your head too tight? Oh, I think it's still a little awkward. Hmm. It would be good to trim the wig to look natural like your rear hair. better now. This is a hairstyle that I prepared. Um, after braiding your hair, I will decorate it beautifully with the various hair pins and hair bands. Hmm. I think it's better to switch our set so that I can style your hair comfortably.
more spray water when you're here a bit.
you see the fabric in the picture? That looks like a skinny scarf. Mm. Uh, the fabric is called Tengi in Korean. Tengi, Tengi. Mm. Uh, as you can see from the picture, I'm going to tie the end of your braid with Tengi. Mm. I'm going to use a floated tangy. It's cute, isn't it? Let's wear hair pins now. I prepared flower chignon pin and small pearl pins. Putting the chignon pin in top of your braid. Putting the pearl pins in several parts. Let's wear a hairband now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which do you like? Choose one of the two that you prefer. Is it hard to choose? Um, then let's try them both and pick one that looks good on you. Isn't it a good idea? Uh, let's try on this first.
looks plain. Hmm. Shall we try on the other one? There are a savory mother of pearl flower in the center of the hairband. Mm, wow, this is it. I think this hairband looks better on you. It's eye-catching because of the fence flower decoration. Um, next. Next, I'm going to put flower comb hairpins on both sides. Here's the cute. Um, that's all I've prepared. I hope the time we spent together today will remain a delightful memory for you. And if you join a VIP membership, you can enjoy a traditional Korean tea party with me. If you're curious about the tea party, join the membership and come to visit me. Then, see you next time. Bye. Oh, hey. Welcome back. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I was waiting for you. Yeah. Um. There are many Korean traditional snacks and teas prepared for you, and I wanted to share them with you. Yeah, um, they are probably unlike any other one you've ever had before. I prepared three snacks and teas each, and you can taste from a little bit bitter to sweet. Then, let us try them. Ta-da! At first, I will give you 